Welcome to a short tutorial video on AI-driven auto chord symbol suggestions, a new feature within Sibelius 2023.6. For the first time, we've embedded a local AI model within our build, which can rapidly analyze harmonies within your Sibelius project. The model was trained on public domain music, and it runs locally within the Sibelius application, so your data never leaves your machine. Today, I'll walk you through using and customizing our new feature. The first thing to know is that the auto suggestion feature is off by default. The first time you add a new chord symbol within Sibelius 2023.6 or later, a pop-up message will let you know that Sibelius can now suggest and enter chord symbols for you. If you click yes, the new feature will be turned on. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to click no so that I can show you exactly where the new user preference can be found. You can use the shortcut command comma to access the user preference dialog, navigate to the other pane, and look at the bottom left hand side for user preferences associated with auto completion. Here, we simply click to turn on chord symbol suggestions. We'll return and discuss the other associated options later in this video. I've turned on the auto suggestion user preference, and we're now ready to check out how to use the feature. As always, make a selection in your score where you'd like to place a chord symbol, then use the keyboard shortcut command K. For the first time, instead of looking at a flashing blank cursor, Sibelius automatically populates the text editor with the best suggestion for a chord symbol at this location in your score. In this case, the model is highly confident that D minor is the best chord symbol. To accept the suggestion, you can use the spacebar to advance the chord symbol cursor to the next beat, the tab key to advance the cursor to the next bar, or escape to finish adding chord symbols. Let's jump over to the next bar with the tab key. In past versions, hitting tab would have just resulted in a flashing cursor on the beginning of the next bar, but as you can see, the new feature gets to work and pre-populates the chord symbol text box with the most likely result from the model. In this case, an E half diminished 7 chord. Just above the text, we see an indication that the model has not only one suggestion for us, but three. The best part about the new feature is that it unlocks the ability to quickly explore a number of typical and atypical chord suggestions for a given musical context. To cycle through the other suggestions, re-trigger the chord symbol shortcut command K. Depending on your preferences, you'll also see how confident the model is about each suggestion. Let's move on to the next measure where I'll quickly demo how to edit auto suggestions. In measure three, if I was hoping for, say, an add nine chord, I can append the chord extension by hitting the down arrow key, which moves the cursor to the end of the chord simple text, and then typing in the chord extension that I wanted, in this case, add nine. If I end up with a chord at a location where it's not needed, simply hit backspace to delete the suggested chord symbol and then advance the cursor. If the chord that you want isn't in the list of suggestions, simply type in what you wanted over the top of the suggestion. For example, maybe an incomplete A7 actually captures what I hear in bar four and that's what I want to add. Back in the user preferences, you have a few options for customizing auto suggestions. There are options to turn the confidence values on or off, and there are options to see those confidence values either quantitatively or qualitatively. And that's all there is to it. If you're curious to know more about how our feature works, we invite you to check out our technical blog for all the details on our training data and our commitment to ethical AI practices. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more improvements to our AI model and more data-driven workflows in future releases of Sibelius.